This video is going to be dedicated to all of my service providers out there. Whether you have one client or multiple clients, this is going to be a video exactly how I approach my week of client work. Hi, my name is Adrena. I am the owner and accountant here at Accounting by Adrena, and I'm so excited to share my process with you on how I approach a week of client work. Now, this is going to give you a little bit more of like information when it comes to me scheduling client work. I'm going to use Google Calendar, and I'm going to be using Asana, and I will link all of my other Asana videos down in the description box below because boy, I love Asana. <laughs> and let me tell you, it is so helpful in managing multiple uh, tasks related to multiple clients and making sure that all of your tasks get done on a timely manner. This is going to be so helpful for you if you are kind of like up and coming with a lot of clients and you need uh, to figure out a way to get organized with your tasks. This is something that I have been doing for months now, and I find it to be so effective. I actually do this process on a Friday before the following week, so I know exactly what I'm heading into uh, when it comes to the next week. Now, this is something that I have been working on uh, week after week and kind of improving my processes. And let me just tell you right here, sometimes it doesn't always go exactly to plan, but it's always better to have a plan. Now, one of the ways that I like to adjust my calendar is just by having everything built into my calendar, everything having built into Asana, and then kind of like adjusting for the unknown, because sometimes you're going to get an email from a client that's actually going to supersede what you already have scheduled on your calendar. Maybe it's a rush request. Maybe it's an audit request. Maybe it's something similar to that in your field where you really need to kind of like drop everything all hands on deck and make sure that you uh, power through and get everything done. So again, this is just going to be how I approach my week, and this is going to be what works best for me. Um, but I got to tell you, Google Calendar and Asana together are perfect. <laughs> all right, let's jump right in. Now, when I'm looking at my calendar at like this kind of perspective, I usually look at the meetings first and then make sure that I am doing my morning routine early enough so that I'm alive and awake by 10 a.m. So my morning routine is about two hours and I like to have that a different color. So let's choose pink and we're gonna, also going to repeat it every weekday. So I'll save that. And so that's auto automatically plugged in. Now, what I do next is I want to make sure that I'm planning out break times for lunch, uh, that I'm planning out break time to exercise and the end time of my day. So that is going to be the next thing that I look at. So I want to make sure that I'm plugging in time to exercise. So for example, tomorrow I will be swimming uh, from 3 until 4.30. So I'll put this uh, 3 until 4.30 and then let's put that a different color. Let's see, I don't know, you can pick whatever color you like. So let's do something different like that. And then on Friday, I'm going to be doing yoga here. And then that's an hour long class, but I'm going to put in some commute time. So we'll do nine to 11 and then let's do that one. So now I've plugged in my morning routine, my yoga, my morning routine usually includes breakfast. So I'm not worried about that, but now I am concerned about lunch. <laughs> so usually I like to do lunch around one to two. Um, so we can actually plug that in as kind of like a weekly um, repeating thing. And there, now that's plugged in. Um, so that actually works out perfectly with this schedule here. And then next after that, I want to make sure I'm doing hard cutoffs. So usually Thursdays, I can work uh, pretty long days. Uh, Mondays and Tuesdays and Thursdays are long days. But if there's a cutoff, like for example, on Wednesday, like I want to make a special dinner, then I'll say dinner here. And so I know like that is, that is the cutoff I need to make sure that I get all of my work done by 6 p.m. on Wednesday. 
actually we could probably do that for every weekday. So let's go ahead and edit that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's start it on the 15th. There we go. Okay, so now we have our morning routine plugged in, um, exercise times and dinner time. Uh, usually what I like to do um, towards the end of the day is like the walking treadmill desk. So now I'm gonna be putting in walking treadmill um, during the times that are kind of like open towards the end of the day. So walking treadmill. Copy that. And walking treadmill and this color. Okay, so now the reason why I like to have all of these plugged in to my Google Calendar right away is because this is this is my overall health, basically. You know, um, I need to have a morning routine. I need to have that time to myself in the morning first thing. And that kind of helps me wake up and get ready to go for my day. Um, and physically, you know, we need to be moving. So I usually have been sitting at my desk for a long period of time. Now I have a standing desk and a walking treadmill. So I finally have the opportunity to do, to add in more movement to my day. So these are just kind of holding um, a placeholder for like reminding myself to, to move during the day. Uh, sometimes I like to do like a little weight session or like a little bit of yoga. So I usually save that for like the 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. hour. And so I'll keep that uh, hour open just to kind of like give myself a little bit of flexibility before I start my work day. Um, and then now I can see where um, the gaps are within my day. So first thing Monday morning, I have 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. completely open. Now, this is where I switch over to Asana. So now in Asana, I know I've gone over this before with you guys, but I have all of my um, bookkeeping clients here. I've created a sample board so we can kind of play around with it. And usually I like to color code my clients. So I think our brain kind of remembers things by color a little bit better. Um, so there's a couple ways you can do it. You can see that drop down that I used there. You can also use this three dot here to set the color. Um, so let's do that. I'm just going to pick like three uh, different colors so it stands out a little bit more. Now, I created these three boards of clients like to be um, very pretty much the same. So standard across the board. These are just to give you an idea of what I'm doing and how I, you know, plug in my client work. But basically what you can do is rearrange the due dates based on kind of like an agreement that you made with your clients and, you know, when you would produce financial statements, when you would process payroll, when you would process AP, uh, so on and so forth. And then I would just plug in kind of like client one, client two, you know, client three during these gaps in the day. Thursdays are usually more open for me, which is wonderful and lovely. Um, so there's a lot of grace in my day on Thursdays. If I have uh, lingering tasks that are taking a little bit longer than I had originally planned, then I can plug that in to Thursday. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so I am using the Asana desktop app, and it's probably one of my favorites Um out there, uh, you can use the web browser to access Asana, but I really like using the desktop app. That's my favorite thing. Now, I wanted to give you an idea of what it looked like to have multiple clients set up on your Asana board. So we're going to go ahead and click on calendar, and then I'm going to give you the whole perspective here. So I you know, created like this is like a, a template board that you can copy and paste. And so that's what I did for client one, two and three here. Now you can see kind of like how things end up stacking on different days. And so if you wanted to like, say, have all of the 
you know, client three tasks on one day, all of the client two tasks on one day, you can just easily move this around accordingly. So for example, let's say we did our template on Tuesdays. So I would just move everything over to Tuesdays um, and then the client ones to Wednesdays client twos to Thursdays, and then client three to Fridays. Let's just have that as an idea, like an example um, for everyone to see visually what that would look like. This is why I like using the color codes because it's just so much easier to click and drag this way. Um, and I can kind of uh, schedule out my week through these colors basically. So um, this is just to give you an idea. Clearly, I'm not going to be um, processing payroll and have payroll due on that same day. So maybe this would be payroll due is like in two days. And then maybe this one's like in two days there. Um, and then there's going to be another one in two days there. OK. Now, now you can see, OK, so I've left, you know, Tuesdays for client template and then Wednesdays for client one, Thursdays for client two, and Fridays for client three. So this is when I would go back to my Google Calendar and I would start plugging it in. So for example, you know, Mondays, let's say it was open. So then this would be really just CEO time and I could have you know, whatever tasks I needed to do, whatever emails I needed to respond to, I could do that. And then we could do YouTube recording here um, because that's when it's open. And then I would just block it out like this. Um, I think I did say I would leave eight to nine open. So let's click and drag and uh, move that around there. Um, and then this could be a carryover from CEO time as well. And then going back to Asana, you know, we would say template client here. Uh, that's when they would do the work. I'm sorry, that's when I would do the work. And then like that. Save. And then when I come back from the gym, I would do, I would finish up my template client there. So here we have client one. And then uh, client one would be here like this. I'm gonna fill in client two and client three and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so now that I have my Google Calendar all filled in this way, I go back to Asana and I realize, okay, maybe, you know, I need to rearrange some of these tasks based on the arrangement I had with my clients. So let's say I needed to process AP on Tuesdays for client one um, and then Thursdays for the other two clients. So then I would come back to Google Calendar and just make sure that I have a placeholder for that. Um, and that way I know to check Asana for client uh, three on the client two day, if that makes sense. So then where it says carryover tasks, I would just say, you know, client three. And then I would know, okay, that's going to be a trigger for my brain. This is what I need to do is check Asana for AP processing. Now, what I like about, you know, blocking out my calendar this way is that I'm going to get calendar reminders, you know, 10 minutes before this one is 30 minutes before the task uh, starts and you can change that. So on my, on my um, business calendar, I've changed it to 10 minutes beforehand and that way I'm alerted. This is another trigger for my brain to switch a tasks because it's not always, you know, cut and dry when it comes to working for yourself. You have to put in things that work for you. And this is one of those ways that it really works for me. So I can see visually, okay, visually on 
Thursday, I have a lot of um, open time to do client work. So maybe this is a day when I work on a really large project for a client, which actually happened last week. I ended up working on a really large project for a client that took me most of Thursday. And I was so grateful to have kind of like that open time. So just like uninterrupted time, just focus, get my head down and, and get to work. Um, Fridays are also very similar. And I have been moving to work uh, half days on Fridays. But again, this is just an example of how I approach my week of client work. So first and foremost, I make sure that there's the morning routine. I make sure that I have all of my meetings scheduled. I make sure that I have a lunch break in between and that I have all of kind of like my, my movement um, scheduled and then dinner so that I can have that hard cutoff. Um, so in Asana, you can also rearrange these tasks to occur weekly on like a particular day. So for example, I had moved I had moved this one to Wednesdays. So I can just click Wednesdays and it'll just uh, reoccur every Wednesday. Um same oh that's the one I just looked at. So same with this one. Okay, so I got those two already done. And then processing payroll, you know, this happens every two weeks depending on so it's not going to happen back to back, but you can customize the reoccurrence. So I moved it to Wednesdays there. Um, and then same with these ones, you know, AP processing every week on Thursday, weekly bank feed entries. Let's move that to Thursdays. Okay, so once you have all of your tasks rearranged and as you go through your week and you start checking them off, it'll automatically populate on the following week. So, or whatever that occurrence is. Um, and so you'll see that kind of repopulate itself. Okay, so those two repopulated down here and this AP processing did repopulate, but it uh, came in on Thursday. So we can go ahead and move that to Tuesdays. I really, really just like the feature that you can just mark these off as done and then it's automatically going to repopulate for the following week. So you can adjust your schedule according to kind of like the meetings that are happening, like I was talking about, um, just so that you have you have a, a blocked out time for this particular task. And, and I want to stress that too, because um, when you're looking at your calendar and you see a bunch of open time, let's just say, you know, I had removed these uh, carryover tasks and things, then it looks like I have, like, I don't know what I'm going to be doing on Thursday. But when you look at Asana and you see that these tasks are there, um, then you want to make sure that you're creating a plan to basically cover those tasks. Um, and I can't tell you how important it is to know exactly what you need to do and when. Uh, that makes all of the difference in meeting deadlines, in making your clients happy, in a successful business. Because if you don't have you know, structures in place to help you, you know, get there, then it's just going to be all over the place and your clients will be bugging you for information um, when if you didn't have a system in place, it, it's not going to be there. But because you have a system in place and because, you know, you're using Asana to the best of Asana's ability, then you can um, really dive deep with your clients and make sure that you're not only covering all your bases, but also, you know, going above and beyond for your clients. So again, I really love Asana, obviously, and I hope this is really helpful. If you guys have any questions on Asana or using Google Calendar or how I approach my tasks each week, um, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video.